Hi, I'm Teresa Jackson. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the color of a product using shape layers in Photoshop. The first thing you need to do when colorizing a product is to create an outline path of that. I'm going to go to my um, Paths panel here, and you'll see that I've already drawn an outline path of this cup. If I select the path, we'll see the path show up here in the view. Now, I did this by using the pen tool, which is right, right here. And while I was on the pen tool, let's select the pen tool, I made sure that it said path up here. And then I went all the way around, closed it up, and saved it as uh, with this name cup. I'm not going to go into the specifics of how to create an outline path for this tutorial. We're going to jump straight to the colorizing part. So I'll switch back to my layers panel here, and then we're going to draw a shape layer, which is this tool in the toolbar. I'll select this shape and make sure at the top here that it says shape, in this case not path, we want it to say shape. And this little chip is the color shape we're going to draw. Since we already have a green cup, I don't really want to add a green shape, so I'll click on this green chip. I'm going to pick this blue color here and then drag out a rectangular shape. I just need to make sure that it covers the cup all the way. And when I do this, it generated a brand new layer. This icon in the lower right hand corner tells us this is a shape layer. Now we just need to change the blend mode of this layer. Right now the blend mode by default is at normal. I'm going to click on that, go all the way down second to the last and pick color. And you'll see that the blue color is colorizing the layer below. It's taking the luminosity from the layer below and it's changing it to the color of the shape layer. The only problem is it's also colorizing the drop shadow and the background and we don't want that. That's where the path comes in. I'm going to switch back to my paths panel and here's my cup shape. What I need to do is turn this path of the cup into an active selection. The easiest way to do that is to hold down your command key if you're on a Mac or your control key if you're on a PC and you should see your um, mouse icon change into a hand with a pointed finger and this marquee marching ant selection. If you have that icon just click and it will load the um, path into an active selection of march marching ants. Now that we have that active selection, we can make a layer mask. I'm going to go back to the layers panel and make sure I have the shape layer selected. Then I'm going to go down to the bottom of my layers panel and click on the layer mask icon. And that changed the selection, the active selection, into a layer mask. Now we have a blue cup. If we're not completely happy with this color blue or the way um, that the effect is working, we can simply double click on the shape layer which will bring up the color picker. And this is the real beauty of using shape layers versus pixel layers because we can see the color change in real time. If I slide this up to pink, we'll see that cup change to pink. If you pick colors that are a little less saturated, you, you're likely to get a little better result. See, we're getting better detail in this cup when I um, slid over here to a less saturated pink color. So I'm really liking that color pink. I'm just going to say OK. And now I have a green cup and I have a pink cup. If I want to make more colors of this cup, I just need to make a copy of this layer. And I'm going to do a Command J or a Control J on a PC would do the same thing. That duplicates the layer, brings along with it the layer mask. I'll turn the visibility off of the pink layer. Double click on the pink shape. And let's go back and maybe look at a teal color. And I really like that. Maybe a little bit bluer. I like that color a lot. So now we have a green, a pink and a teal. Let's do that one more time. I'll make a copy of that with a Command J or a Control J. I'll hide this one. Double click right on the shape layer and let's make an orange cup. And we'll try and find an orange color that looks realistic. That looks great. Now I'll say OK. So very quickly I've turned my green cup into pink, into teal, 
and into orange. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.